For this tutorial, you're going to need a ruler, some pins, scissors, and a sewing machine. Okay, first step is to simply get your shirt and pull the sleeves inside out. You want to put the shirt on inside out, making sure to button it. When you button it, you need to make sure it's exactly as if you're wearing it. So, get your button, put it through here, and it should look like this. It should fold flat. You do not want to button it from the inside because it will not sit right. So go ahead and put your shirt on for the next step. Quick tip when starting to put your shirt on inside out, start from the bottom and work your way up. It's easier to put your button in with your finger on the bottom on the inside, press through with your thumb, and there it sits. Now this next step, we're gonna take our pins and we're gonna pinch at the smallest part of the waist, roughly as much material as you wanna take in. In this case, I'm gonna start right here, and I'm gonna go an inch, and I'm gonna stick the needle through both layers of fabric. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Same amount, I'm gonna go one inch from the edge and go through both layers of fabric. With that done, you can go and move around, see if that feels comfortable. The next step, I find my belt line, go roughly two inches beneath it, and pin again. This part isn't too critical since it'll most likely be tucked in. I'm gonna go roughly a half inch from the edge. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Once you've done that, move around, make sure everything still feels comfortable. Now I'm gonna take the last two needles. I'm gonna come up here, the upper part, about two to three inches beneath the armpit. Then I'm gonna pin it. I'm gonna go roughly a half inch from the edge to see how that feels. I'm gonna do the same on this side. Now you should have three pins on each side and this will give you a rough idea of how it'll feel. I like to move around to make sure I didn't get it go too tight. These pins don't need to be perfect. Now we're going to take off the shirt and actually measure them and repin them. Once you remove the shirt, keep the pins in place. You're going to button it back up. Now you want to get your shirt, grab it right here at this crease, and make sure it sits completely flat against your table. You can move the sleeves out of the way. It's important that this area is completely flat and there are no folds underneath. So in some cases, the back of the shirt will have more material than the front, so you'll need to move the excess material to the inside, sit it flat, and smooth any creases that might be there. It doesn't matter where you put this double stitching, it could be on the bottom side or the top side. I like to keep it on the top side. Do the same for the other side. Move the extra material that's on the back. Squeeze it toward the inside so the edge sits completely smooth. Now we are going to measure roughly where these needles matched up relative to this edge. If it helps, you can get a pen and paper to write it down. So yeah, I'm going to get a rough measurement. So from the bottom edge, this is roughly three inches. So I'm going to put that down. The next one where the smallest point of your waist was, I like to measure relative to the second needle. So it's roughly four and a half inches away. Now we're going to measure the needle up here relative to your waist needle and it's roughly four and three quarters. Now we're going to measure roughly how, from the, how far from the edge the needle is. So we know we put this one at roughly half inch. We know this one is roughly one inch. And this is roughly half inch. So now you're going to get more pins. You're going to remove these pins. You're going to situate the double stitching however you like. I'm going to sit it on top. Make sure this is completely flat under here. Make sure this edge is completely flat as well. Once you have the shirt sitting completely flat, you want to look back at your measurement. You know this needle that was three inches away from the edge, from the bottom edge, was a half inch away from this edge. So for this first one at the ed at the end, we're going to measure a half inch. In this case, I'm going to change it to three quarters because it felt slightly loose. So I'm going to get my ruler and measure three quarters of an inch away. I'm going to stick my needle. 
and hold it. And it's very important if you're doing if you're on the right side of the shirt that you put the head of the needle facing this way. You'll find out later. Stick it in through both layers and then back through both layers. Check your measurement again. It's still at three quarters. This is what it should look like. You can see it's three quarters inch away. Now we're ready to put the second needle. This is the same needle that was three inches away from the bottom edge. Since I changed it three quarters from the side edge, I'm also going to make it three quarters. So I'm going to measure three inches away from the bottom edge. Now that's right here. I'm going to put the needle in roughly where three quarters inch away from the edges. I'm going to slide the needle this way. I actually measure out three quarters. Move the needle over slightly. Still holding it. Poke it through. Make sure the head faces this way. I'm going to stick it through both layers and out. Now we're going to do the third needle, which is where you measured your waist from. Looking back at our measurements, we know it's four and a half inches away from where this needle entered. So I'm going to get the ruler. Starting where you put the needle in, measure four and a half inches and put the end roughly one inch away from the edge since that's where what measurement I used. So we're going to hold it right there. We're going to put our ruler this way. Line it up with one inch. So I need to move the needle over slightly. Still holding the needle. Poke it through both edges. Come out. For the fourth needle, we're going to take our measurement from where we started. So we know that needle was four and three quarters inches away from your waist needle. And it was 0.5 inches away from the side. So we're going to put our ruler and we're going to measure four and three quarters inches, roughly 0.5 inches away from your edge. So that ends up roughly right here. So hold your needle. Now we're going to slide the ruler sideways, measure the half inch, and you slide over a little bit. I'm going to stick it through. For the last needle, you don't need to measure anything. You just go to where the armpit ends, right here in the corner. Stick it in roughly a quarter inch away from it, pointing toward this intersection. Stick it in and have the needle come out right at the intersection. It should look like that. Now you should have five needles on the side. So you have your first needle at the edge. You have your second needle. Both these are the same distance away from the edge. We have your waist needle, you have your fifth needle, and then you have your last needle pointing exactly at the edge. So we're going to be sewing along the line that connects all of these needles. So we're going to do the exact same thing for this side. I wanted to mention real quickly that it's easier if you cut the tags off right now. Another important tip is when you're putting the needles on this side of the shirt, you want them to go in and have the head facing the top of the shirt. Like so. This is the opposite of the this is the opposite of the way the needles face on the other side. Once you've pinned up both sides, it's time to put your shirt back on to test fit before sewing. Same as before. It's easier if you start at the bottom. Be very careful when you're putting the shirt on so you don't get poked by the pins. This is how your shirt's going to fit once you sew it. So go ahead and move around. Make sure everything feels good. If everything fits okay, we could go and take your shirt back off and get to sewing. Before I start sewing, I wanted to point out that once you start sewing, you are not trying to connect these dots in straight lines. I found it best this first one can be a straight line, but for this next one to taper it and go in slightly. And when you end up at this point, it'll be tangent to it. Then you continue up and make a curve. And you might not hit this point exactly. You could be slightly in from the edge, but you end up hitting it right here at the top edge. So it'll be a nice flowing taper. Like I mentioned earlier, the direction of needles matters because you want the shirt sitting on the outside of the machine. It's easier to grab the pins from the head if they're facing you. 
So with the shirt on this side and I'm on the right side of the shirt, I'm gonna start at the top. So I'm going to line up the sewing needle right at the corner of where the armpit meets. So I'm gonna remove this first pin I'm going to slide that point right underneath the needle and make sure my needle is to the right. It's slightly it's to the left right now, so I'm going to move it over to the right. I'm going to I'm going to change my spacing to 2 so it's nice and tight. I'm going to lower the foot So I'm just past the where the sleeve meets the uh, the edge. So I want I want to project a straight line from the needle if I travel to here, just to start out with. So I'm gonna do a backward stitch to lock the thread in place. So on my machine, I just hold this down. So it looks like this material was too thick to go through. I'm going to reposition it a little further away from the edge. So when I go back, when I do my back stitch, it does not go over the thick portion of the material. So I'm going to lay it flat. So I'm going to do my back threading. Okay, so now I've done three threads. Now it's ready to go forward. I'm going to turn my speed down to medium and just slowly start. So I'm gonna taper outward, not making a straight line to here, but going slowly outward a little bit, and end up just to the left of it. Once you get right up to that needle, go ahead and remove it. If you need to, raise the foot get it out of there. You do not want to hit your needle on these. Lower your foot and continue. So I'm going to continue this curve until I end up right at where this needle enters. Lined up with it and now I'm straight on parallel to this edge. So I'm going to raise the needle, get the pin out, lower it. Now I'm going to continue to taper a curve until I hit this point. Once I've gone to that needle, I'm going to raise the foot, take the pin out, lower it, continue. Now I'm at that point, I'm going to straighten again, and I'm going to travel parallel to the edge of the shirt, meeting right where this last needle is. I'm going to pull it out right now, and continue all the way to the edge of the shirt. I'm going to back thread it. Okay, so I'm going to raise the needle all the way, raise your foot, pull your shirt out, and it'll come with some thread. I'm going to snip the thread. And this is roughly what it'll look like. Doesn't need to be perfect. No one will be able to tell once you put your shirt on. So now we're going to flip to the other side. We're going to have the collar of the shirt facing you, and we're going to have the end of the shirt starting it. This is the top of the shirt facing up. This makes it easy again to pull the pins out towards you. So I'm going to pull this pin out. I'm noting where I'm going to start. So find wherever that hole was. Pull your foot. Do a couple back threads. Continue forward. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go make a straight line until I get this to this needle. I'm gonna pull up the foot, pull the pin out, over your foot. So till you get to where this pin just was, I'm gonna start angling and curving this way to line up with this needle. Now you have both sides threaded. Now you could go and uh, try your shirt on, make sure everything's good. 
if it's too tight you can remove all your thread it would just take a long time if everything fits we'll move to the next step in this next step we're gonna do a overcast stitch right next to our straight stitch to finish it so when we cut it it won't come undone in my manual I'm going to use this it's an it's number six in the settings overcasting on thin or medium weight fabrics it calls for foot G so I've gotten foot G I'm going to change it out once you've installed the foot move the threads to the rear get your shirt in this case it doesn't matter which side you uh, start from I'm just going to put it right here change your setting to the stitch on my machine also the stitches are listed right on the sides you can usually tell that's number six so I'm going to find number six in the booklet I'm gonna make sure the width is set to three and a half and the length is set to two since it's set correctly I'm gonna go ahead and get started so I'm going to I'm just on on the outside of the straight stitch I've lowered my foot I'm going to slide it a little bit forward because I'm on a thicker material. I don't want the needle to break, so I'm going to lower it. I'm going to do a couple reverse threads. Now that I've done my reverse threads, I'm ready to start. This just goes pretty quickly, so I'm just going to put it on full speed and go. So be careful when you get to the edge here. Make sure you don't slow it down a bit because it's a thicker material. The very edge, so I'm going to do a couple reverse threads. I'm going to raise my needle, raise the foot, pull the thread tight, and snip it. And this is what it should look like. Now I'm going to do the other side. There's the finished product. Now it's time to snip off all this excess material. Start at the edge and just start working your way up. This is what it will look like. So now I'm going to do the other side. It's time to try on your shirt. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe.